So you were getting quite irate when I was chatting to the gentleman beforehand. Yeah. Um, would you welcome a refugee into your home, firstly? No, I wouldn't. Why not? Um, firstly, um, I don't have the space. Mm. Secondly, I can't afford it. Mm. Thirdly, my heating bill doubled this month. Um, fourthly, my primary concern is taking care of my children and my family. And the, the human rights lawyer that have to t take issue with what he was saying about waiving all the normal checks mm. on people. He was advocating people with no documented history or background or record of their criminality, working with vulnerable people mm. in care homes. We've taken leave of our senses around all of this. And it's like now everything is black or white. We're losing sight of nuance, of talking through debate, of rationale, of keeping the refugees themselves safe mm. without the correct paperwork. That's right. And, and members of the public in Britain safe. We don't know who a lot of these people are. And, you know, it's just... It's getting out of control, I think, this whole debate. If you even look at the nuance of how we got to this place, you're a Putin apologist. If you even look at saying, well, hang on, is it really the best thing to throw open our borders to people who are undocumented with no background checks? You're a racist. It feels like we're going backwards in, in, in terms of human intelligence. And I think a lot of that is driven by social media and there's this demonisation of anybody with a counterintuitive opinion. And what is it with this government? saying you must surrender your spare room. First it was the bedroom tax. Oh. Oh. Now it's like you must accept a refugee. I'll tell you what, no. Boris Johnson, you go first. Okay. Michael Gove, you go first. Gary Lineker, you go first. You know, Yvette Cooper, you go first. You've got the space. You've got £2,000 pay rise. We haven't. You go first and let the rest of us who can't afford it follow suit.